What's up YouTube? My name is Brian, Punch Fishing, and I just want to do a really quick review on the Sims Transom Gore-Tex Bibs and Jacket System set, whatever you want to call it. Um, I picked this up a couple weeks ago. Uh, I know they're going on sale right now, so a lot of people are looking at this combination. I actually put this thing to the test fishing in northern Minnesota for three days in 45 to 52 degree weather. One of the days rained all day. Uh, we fished smallmouth and walleyes. I put this suit on, had it, I, I, we got soaked. Um, my boat's still wet. I actually just still took this stuff out of the boat and you can see it's still had a little, <laughs> a little damp. I probably should have taken these out and let them dry. Um, but the suit performed awesome. Uh, we used it for, or I used it for an entire day, probably about six to eight hours in the rain nonstop. And when I took my suit off and I got in, Completely dry except for my hands and my feet. Totally dry. So this is a Gore-Tex suit. These are the bibs. These are the transom bibs. Um, I'm 6'2", about 220, 220 pounds. Um, this is the large. I like Sims stuff because their fit is pretty true to size. I don't like big, huge, baggy bibs, so I like that they're kind of normal fitting. I'm wearing jeans on underneath. Um, I have a t-shirt and uh, outerwear, like a mid-layer. This is just a fleece. Because it is fall here in Minnesota, so you're not fishing without some kind of mid layer. Um, this stuff would be awesome in the summer because it's Gore Tex, it's going to breathe. Um, I haven't used this suit in a really hot day yet that's raining, but I plan on doing that next season. Um, Gore Tex is cool because it breathes really well with also being completely windproof. Um, wearing this suit out in the nasty weather last weekend, it wind blew a little bit and uh, making runs um, in my Skeeter Bass boat <clears throat> uh, felt great. I didn't feel too cold. Uh, did, definitely didn't feel the wind coming in, so Gore-Tex definitely lives up to the uh, the name and the expensive licensing that it costs companies to use it. So let's talk about the bibs real quick. There's some things I like and some things I don't like. The things I like is the shoulder straps are really comfortable. I have other bibs that uh, the shoulder straps can kind of like uh, give you a little back pain after a while, but because the way the strap and the, there's this kind of like the way it crosses in the back and comes over your shoulders, uh, wearing these all day, I didn't feel any kind of um, pressure or any pain in my upper back. Um, they have quick disconnects that I probably will never use. So you can disconnect them real quick there, but I kind of just throw them like that. I never use the quick, quick disconnects. Um, everything has Velcro going down the front. Everything in here, all the seams are sealed as you'd expect with the expensive Gore-Tex rain suit. So there's no open seals anywhere. Uh, everything is waterproof. You only get two pockets. This is my one thing I don't like about these bibs is you get pockets here. Um, they're not insulated or lined or anything so you're not getting like warmth in here like uh, for winter fishing or that kind of stuff. Um, but it is pretty waterproof. I put my phone in here um, on a couple occasions and it, they didn't, it didn't get wet. I wish there were pockets down here. I wish they put something on the outside. Uh, this is just really clean through here. There's no pocket back here to put your wallet. There's no pouches or anything right here to put like your phone or tools or anything. So no pockets down here. You get two pockets up here and that's it. They do give you a hook to put your um, uh, your emergency cutoff switch for your boat on here if you want. Or you can hang the keys or do something else. Um, that's pretty much it. The bibs are pretty simple. Um, don't have too much to say about them. They are fairly long. Uh, I wear like... 32 inch inseam pants and there's actually quite a bit of room still down on the bottom. Um, these are fairly long so I would say if you wear like 34 length jeans the larges are going to be perfectly fine. So let's talk about the coat real quick. So this coat I think was designed for like saltwater and inshore fishing. It's kind of long. Um, so if you like a longer jacket then you definitely want the transom over the Sims Pro Dry. So the, the Pro-Dry is the other Sims um, Gore-Tex suit, and the Pro-Dry is very like short, kind of cuts off right at the waist, uh, whereas the transom kind of goes down low. So if you want that longer coat, then you definitely want the transom. The Challenger is a little short too. So the Challenger and the Pro-Dry, um, I don't know if I'm having trouble with the zipper. Okay, so good things about this coat is obviously the length. Um, no water is getting anywhere, very long. You get a giant pocket right here that actually has a pocket within the pocket. And my phone actually does fit in the pocket in the pocket, but if you have like a big phone, like a Note 9 or Note 10, it's probably not going to fit in there. But you get this giant pocket here. Um, 
and that's easy to zip up and zip out. Actually, wearing gloves, I was really get, able to get in this pocket really easy with, with gloves on. Um, you get two side pockets that are up kind of high. They're not down low, they're kind of up here, which I kind of like for um, keeping your hands out of the rain. So I kind of like tuck in, you know, hang out like this. Works pretty well. Um, arm length is really good. I have long arms, and this is a large, large jacket, large pants. Um, goes all the way out. Also, there's an internal lining. Uh, where if you want to really cinch this up and get it under a glove, you can. Um, I kind of like to have it loose, but there is an internal lining that will keep the water from going up your sleeve. Um, it's got a really nice full Velcro strap here. Everything on Sims is pretty high quality, uh, like as far as the zippers and the buttons and the Velcro and everything. I really like their stuff. Um, my favorite thing about this jacket, though, is it does have a fleece-lined um, neck cuff which makes it kind of warm. So when you're running on the boat and you zip up like this, and you tuck in, it keeps your face pretty warm. Um, I like this. So I also like that the neck cuff doesn't hit my ears. There's certain other like Blackfish and some other companies that make um, rain gear, and they make these really high neck cuffs, and it, it like hits your ear, it tucks under your ear, and it drives me nuts. Uh, this is just right for my head, I and mean, your head might differ, but really good neck coverage can kind of cover up and also the hood on sim stuff is great without wearing a hat you can use this hood as a hat so you don't have to wear a hat underneath to have the rain kind of run off because this bill right here is a really um, there's a cord or something in here that keeps this rigidity on the lip of the hood so even without a hat um, the rain will come off and go right down it won't go in your face um, I was wearing a stocking hat when we were fishing in the like 45 degree weather and it was raining and I had sunglasses and stocking hat, and then this hood was out like this. The rain just went off my face. It was great. So you kind of have a hood, you kind of have a hat built into the hood. Uh, one downside of the hood does not zip off. So if you're one of those guys that loves to zip the hood off, you don't want the hood. Sometimes this is affixed. You will not be able to get this hood off. Um, a lot of adjustments. There's side adjustments, and there's a drawstring in the back to make it real tight. So if you're running on your boat and you're driving and you really want that hood to kind of get compact and get down in there and get tight, you can just cinch, cinch, and then make you run on your boat and that hood's not going to go anywhere. So I really like this suit. Um, Gore-Tex is a bit of a premium and if you can get these for under 400 bucks, this suit, like it's a winner. Um, these are the larges, so I don't really know. But there's a lot of room in here. Like this jacket, I could easily put on um, a pretty thick, like puffy down coat under or down mid layer underneath this, and still have plenty of room. So gives you a lot of layering options with this jacket. Um, really good arm length, good in the chest, fits nice. Um, does have drawstrings underneath uh, to pull it tighter, and also has another key ring here for um, attaching your emergency cutoff um, cable on your boat. So if I were to rate this coat and system. Out of 10, I give this thing like um, eight and a half, nine. If it had some pouches here, like outside, that wouldn't affect the water uh, resistance, that you could just kind of like stick stuff in here real quick, um, I'd give these a 10. That's the only thing I wish. I wish there was some kind of pockets right here, but you know what? I can live without that. I got, you got, you got pockets right here, you got a pocket right here. Down here would have been nice, but it's not a big deal. But other than that, the Sims transom system, uh, good stuff.